The Airbus A400M is the German Air Force's new transport aircraft. It offers higher payload, longer range and greater speed than its predecessor, the Transal. With the A400M, the Loadmaster faces completely new tasks and challenges. At the 62nd Air Transport Squadron in Wunstorf, a cargo simulator has been in operation since early September. The simulator is a faithful copy of the A400M's cargo space. It offers completely new opportunities in terms of education and training. It's the first time that we have been provided with a simulator. We always used to train on the aircraft, and the loadmaster training used to take about one year. With the new simulator, we are able to reduce this to six to eight weeks and have a really structured course and train 12 to 16 hours a day, regardless of the availability of real planes. We don't depend on the weather. We could perform an exercise with night vision systems at noon. We can do parachutist training or carry out offloading operations with rear loads. We can load or unload vehicles according to the curriculum without waiting for opportunities for training as part of normal flight operations. Today, there is a very special cargo that needs to be loaded into the cargo simulator, a helicopter type EC-645, which is being introduced into the German Air Force and will be used by special forces, amongst others. Before the helicopter can be pulled into the cargo bay with the help of a winch, a special ramp needs to be built. The ramp consists of special parts. They are only used to load this helicopter type onto the A400M. The biggest challenge is that the helicopter has no wheels, and we cannot use a forklift either, because that would damage the helicopter. So we have to retrofit a sort of undercarriage. Also, the helicopter is so big that we only have a few centimeters of clearance between it and the aircraft. After all the preparations have been made, the helicopter is winched into the cargo bay using a steel cable. Everything is done slowly and with extreme caution, since it is the first time a helicopter has been loaded into the cargo bay of the A400M. And the further the helicopter is pulled into the cargo bay, the more apparent it becomes just how tight it is in here. Finally, the helicopter is in the intended position in the cargo area and can be tightly secured. It was a successful first attempt. For the first time, a helicopter has been loaded into the cargo bay of an Airbus A400M. The findings from this first test will be incorporated into the future training of loadmasters. Considering that it was the first time that we did this, I'm very pleasantly surprised. That went pretty well, and I'm sure that when we practice this with our trainees in the future, it will be a good training module. Vehicles, boxes and pallets, or even a helicopter like today, the A400M cargo simulator allows the 62nd Air Transport Squadron in Wunstorf to practice virtually everything to prepare soldiers to operate the Air Force's new transport aircraft.